before we continue, let's save the game real quick. Good. Here's the acorn! Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da 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 Hiya, Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you! You won't believe what happened to me and Gary this morning. I know. Let me guess. Curiosity got the best of you again. Yeah. I guess wow. <laughs> well, don't you fret, little varmint. This squirrel knows just the thing to cheer you up. A good old. Um, it's not party. really easy to just cheer you up from losing your pet. Okay, I guess she doesn't want the acorn right now, so I'll lay it down right here. Alright, so we're doing a karate match or something? Yep. What kind of karate outfit is that? Is he freaking naked with just a black belt or something? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he has like a gi on or something. Okay, now listen up, cause I'm gonna remind Why not just wear his regular pants, like in the show? Time to bust up all this junk in your yard. The person who breaks the most. Stuff By the way, I noticed there hasn't been a whole lot of karate in SpongeBob recently. If you have the guts, I'll teach you a few moves. You can press the action button to karate chop, and press the action button a couple of times to chain attacks together, press the action button in the air. And where's your gloves? Your green Ready, ones. Set, go. Fuck you! Fuck you! Get some! Get some! Oh, we're not supposed to hit her. We're supposed to hit the treasure chests. What do you know? SJWs took control before SJW actually control. What's next? Are fighting games only gonna allow to have men beating each other up? No, that's actually kind of stupid. Alright, we're doing really good. We smash more boxes. Come on! Yeah! Sponge is the best! For once. Your karate skill is mighty. Hmm. It is where the game would crash my PS2 copy that I no longer have. I gotta admit, SpongeBob, that was some tussle. You did okay for a sea critter. Yeah. You weren't so bad for a land critter. Ooh, wow. That plum took all the fire out of me. I'm going home for a nap. Why don't you drop? Oh, you are. Visit, okay. That was sure swell of Sandy to cheer me up. I wish I could do something special for her. I know. I'll give her a present. But what would Sandy like? Mmm. Mm. Mm, how about this? Where'd it go? Hang on. I know what to give her! Yay! Beehive! Beehive! And not to mention, she's napping. Maybe I should go get a little peek. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Where's your helmet? I love visiting Sandy in her tree dome. Where else in Bikini Bottom can you worry about dying from all this air? <laughs> I thought he said drying off, but no, he said dying. I usually do, and I don't need my helmet at all. Oh, the ground in here is soaking. That's awesome, but she's not napping for some reason. Get your squishy little body over here. Help! What happened? Yeah. 
I got all fired up after our karate match and wanted to. I thought she more, said you were I napping. Guess I got carried away because I accidentally poked some holes in the dome. Well, so that wasn't very smart. I imagine you do that more than well, once. How is it that your dome you hasn't caved in, in and you're dome. gonna be you drowning in super fashion of Titanic or Poseidon? Huh. <sighs> Anyways, we have a new level and sponges. Sponge doesn't have to worry about his um, lack of an air of a water helmet. But then again, we have to plug up these holes, and then he's gonna need it. So, all right, all right. Let's see. Nice. Oh, ten holes. Lovely. This place is gonna flood pretty quickly if we don't hurry. Resident Evil Six Mercenaries music. Go. Viewers, play that music. Type in Resident Evil 6 Heat on B, and then there you go. Put in a... And also, if you have an iPhone, put in a, a timer of three minutes and see if I can do it. Oh, shit. And you're free to commentate if you want. Up, oh, Schnick gets another hole, and he has six more to go. Look at all these acorns. Why don't I just give one of them to Sandy? She's good, and I see her suits drying up. Okay. By the way, I just noticed that his jumping sound effect has changed to match the fact that he's not actually in water. Come on! Nice, three more holes. Can I do it? Can I do it? Come on. Nice. Uh. One more hole! Come on! Where's there an acorn? Where's there an acorn? Acorn, acorn! Acorn! Oh shit. Oh shit, there's one. Get it! Come on! Alright, let me know in the comments if I did it. Ugh. Mission accomplished! All the holes are plugged! Yeah. Thanks, SpongeBob. You're a real lifesaver. This place will probably stay soaked for days. As for me, I'm going upstairs to dry off. Now are you gonna take that nap you planned? Up, oh, she's back. Hi there. Ah, uh, let's get some coins. Before we talk to her and give her the quote-unquote acorn, let's, um, get some coins, like I said, because things are probably going to get really ugly once we give that acorn. And you might be wondering, well, why am I going along with SpongeBob's delusion that he's giving a present and not a death trap? Well, it's to show SpongeBob that Karma's a bitch. Let's put it at that. Oh wait, I know what to do. There we go. Got our letter tile. When all those windows actually pop out. Wow. I wish they would change the song, though. It only changes with, like, the costumes. That kind of sucks. Of course, I can't go in that door. All right, how many do we need? 100. Are you kidding me? Looks like we're going to have to go upstairs. And again, I think we're supposed to get 
Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna have to do some jumping yet. Uh, window. Damn! That was lucky. And what kind of... Why would we get a letter tile right here? Cool. Now we have leaves. Leaves! <laughs> okay. And now we have... Um, a tent. And now we have to run on this wheel, looks like. Alright, we have to... Oh, it's like an endurance thing. Okay. I would imagine it's going to get more difficult, so I gotta pay attention. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I have to jump. I have to jump. I have to jump. Jumping is the only surefire way of surviving. Oh, shit. 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 I'm gonna stop saying that now, because it's getting redundant. Redundant. Redundant! Redundant. Come on. This is a pretty cheap way of winning, I gotta say. Oh, my God. Nice! Perfect! Where's the... There's the acorn! Oh, Sandy! I got a present for you! Hey there, SpongeBob! And the viewers are probably screaming, Don't take it! Don't take it! Well, I... I just thought you might like this. Aww. It's a really weird acorn that makes funny noises when you shake yeah, it. Yeah, and when you shake it, it really, really hard, a special surprise will come out. Why, isn't this the fanciest doohickey you ever done saw? This will look great on top of my tree. How does she not recognize it? She's from Texas. They have bees on there all the time. They live inside the walls of houses. Bob, this is no acorn. Get up here right away. What did I tell you? Oh my god. Well, let's go clean up the mess that SpongeBob made. Because he's an idiot, and Sandy's kind of an idiot for not recognizing what a freaking beehive is. Up. Those are. Pr How are the bees almost as big as they are? What seems to be the problem, Sandy? Uh, that acorn you gave me is nothing more than a. Look, that bee is almost as, it's like almost as big you know, so as she is. I mean, I understand squirrels aren't that big, out. but bees are about as big as their head, not their freaking kind of body. Square. Okay, I'll see what I can Especially honeybees. I mean, I can understand why like, Asian giant hornets and maybe bumble... Not not even bumblebees. I mean, well, some, but not all. Okay. Anyway, Sponge has a mess to clean up. That hive is I understand that, Sandy. I'm just trying to get some coins. So I can get some letter tiles to, you know, save my pet snail. Fuck you, B. Fuck you, shut up. Okay. Oh, look at that. Free letter tile. Okay. Well, there we go. We don't have to get more coins. Let's go get rid of the beehive. Where is it, by the way? Don't tell me we have to do, like, a freaking manhunt in order to find it. How much time? Like, 15, 14 and a half minutes, almost. How did that beehive get that big? It wasn't even... It was, like, half the size of Spongebob. Now it, like, dwarfs him. Are you kidding? How that thing expand? Anyways, I think we have to catch these bees. 
using our jellyfish gear. After all, bees are the on-land equivalent of jellyfish, so... Alright, let's catch them. Even though catching them like this is no doubt killing them, but eh. Alright, come on, bee. Circle around. Nice. And wait, wasps? There, there were wasps in there too? Um, game, you do realize that bees and wasps don't necessarily get to get, get along, right? Uh, well, that hive is out of your tree, so, um, no hard feelings, right? Well, it's kind of on you, too, because you should have realized what it was. Round them all up. If, you do if, if job, you're if smart you enough to invent all these gadgets inside your little tree dome here, how did you not know what a freaking beehive is? Seriously. All right. Shut up. What do you think I'm trying to do? All right, did we catch them all? Yeah, we did. So let's go down and see if there's any more down there. I like how there were only, like, it says we have to catch 10 of them. I like how there's only 10 bees and wasps inside of one hive. Putting aside the fact that bees and wasps are completely different things that do not get along, the hives are the kind of things that have not 10 bees, tens of thousands of bees. Or maybe not tens of thousands, like 10,000, yeah. At least. And here are the wasps that are more angry than the bees. Hey, at least they got that fact right. Bees are, um, as much as people may hate some of them, um, bees are needed for the ecosystem to survive. Wasps, not really. Does not help that wasps usually are more aggressive than bees. Like, basically with bees, they only sting as like a last resort. Wasps and hornets, on the other hand, eh, if they don't like your face, they're gonna sting you. There are no more stingy thingies in your tree, don't I Andy. know! Well, there's probably like 9,000 more of them, but eh, we're gonna ignore that. They probably all died when you destroyed the hive. Or did they? Alright, she's strolling on up. She gave us a letter tile for our trouble. At least we have that. In fact, let's go talk to her some more. Wonder. What are we supposed to do? What? Oh my god, we missed a frickin'. Ah. Well, let's go up to Sandy's room, because I'm pretty sure she doesn't mind privacy. Oh, now she's wearing the karate gear. But she didn't have a helmet in the show. How long did you think you could hide in here? Prepare yourself for another defeat. Is that supposed to scare me? I like how she pushed the bed aside. I've learned some new moves. Now pay attention. Oh, what kind of moves? Short amount of time to bust up all this junk. Now here are some advanced moves. The duck button. Duck button. Okay, there we go. I don't need to hear your descriptions because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use those moves. Because it's much more effective to just tap the B button constantly. All right, hang on. Ow. Oops, I hit you when you were only wearing a bikini. Please forgive me. Ow. 
Right, come on. Whoops. Damn! So I can actually get hurt? <laughs> Not a very good match, eh? I'm surprised SpongeBob's able to work this hard after having to catch so many bees. Must contain immense karate powers. I know, SpongeBob. SpongeBob, that was some tussle. Yeah. That line certainly was not pulled from your our last encounter. And if you don't mind, I have to go get one more letter tile. Okay, let's go back down. We're at 20 minutes, but I think we have just enough time to get the last letter tile and do that slide puzzle and get some buried treasure. So wait, the Dutchman buried treasure inside the tree dome? Maybe he did it before um, the tree dome was established, but wouldn't the tree dome be covering the burial site? And I like how that hive is not smashed into a million pieces. Though I will say, seeing wasp nests and beehives getting destroyed by a lot of creative methods on YouTube, which range from a paintball gun, a makeshift flamethrower consisting of like an aerosol can and a, and a lighter, um, a hose, and an RC helicopter. And she's running around for some reason with bees and acorns, and then we have the Monsters Inc. copyright music. There we go! Done! Bring it around. Yeah! Bring it around town! Alright, quickly, let's get the treasure. Right, let's see. Up oh, this way. Alright, Sponge, just go on your pogo stick. Hi, beehive. Bye, beehive. I'm surprised there's not a million bees swarming out. And Barriette wasps fighting the bees. Wait a sec. Uh, oh. Let's see. Oh, fuck! I think it's up there. Now we gotta wait. SpongeBob doesn't like waiting. Yep, there it is. Alright. I would just try to glide there right now, but wait. Let's try it. That worked. There we go. What is it now? I'm surprised Sandy hasn't found that really creepy pair of teeth yet. When it was, especially since it wasn't buried. What? I guess Squidward's next Sorry, for some but reason. My yard sale is over. You should have shown up on time if you wanted to buy something. I never buy what I want. I just take it. Huh. And you're what I'm here for. Another member for my ghost. So uncivilized. But Wouldn't you agree? According to my book on evil spirits, the Flying Dutchman is only supposed to take the ones who disturb his rest. I know, right? That little snail fella is working out so well, and my old crew is so lazy. Can't we overlook that? Once. I Just guess that's why he's taken them. When you're a member of the Dutchman's crew. <laughs> and by Squidward. So the only survivors now are Sponge, Patrick, Sandy, and um, Plankton. Oh, and all the other minor characters like Larry, Mrs. Puff, Pearl, and all that. 
I find it odd how out of the main hero characters, the only ones left are the playable characters from Battle for Bikini Bottom. <laughs> but SpongeBob's not going to take any notice of Squidward being missing. So, let's just save the game, and we'll see what will become a SpongeBob in the next video.